Hello and welcome to another episode of Talk with J.O. And this time round, I'm coming to you from Uganda, a place called Kubamitwe uh, Luero in the outskirts of Kampala, Uganda. I'm your host, Jack Notieno, and I have a great show lined up for you today. Uh, feel free to engage with me at Jackton Graham on Instagram and Twitter, at Jackton Notieno on Facebook, and remember to use the hashtag TalkWithJO. Today, uh, I have a good friend of mine, you know, he's called Daniel Joseph Burasa. Uh, he's a gentleman from uh, Missoula, Montana, and uh, we're here doing some work in Kampala, Uganda. And Daniel, what's up, man? Hey, how are you, Jack Tom? Good to see you, man. Good to see you. So, we have, a, we have an interesting story with this guy, man. We met in 2009. I was still a student in Masen University studying communication and media, and I was asked to, you know, come and uh, help him do some documentary project and we traveled uh, all around different parts of the country, you know, going through the Matadus, the bumpy rides. Mm -hmm. It's quite an experience for you. Let me, let me just uh, tell me how was the experience for you that back then, when you met? It was really a blessing to come to Kenya and to, um, to travel around and meet so many people and see God's work in uh, another part of the world and to learn uh, about sharing the gospel with others. And so it was a very exciting time, uh, very culturally different. It was, um, took, uh, took a while to get used to things, but I felt so blessed by the entire experience and yeah. I, I treasure that time. Awesome, for sure. What was, what was the most shocking thing for you when you... I think the, uh, the conditions in the slum yeah. um, was, very, um, was very difficult. Uh, just to see the the suffering that takes place in the world, yeah. And um, uh, I'm just so grateful for the hope that we have in Christ. Otherwise, I just I don't know. Um, there's no there's not enough solution for those problems. Yeah. But in Christ, there's hope in every situation. Yeah. And so we out of uh, all that experience, at some point he you got sick. Uh, you got some was it bacteria infection? Um, yeah, the, I never got a so diagnosis, oh, but yeah, yeah I uh, uh, stomach problems, yeah. and uh, I was sick for about a week in Kenya, and I still was recovering for another week when I got back to the U.S. Yeah. So um, yeah, that was uh, not a fun experience, but I was very thankful God was gracious that uh, yeah. that I got well and got well quickly. Amen. Daniel's story and I is one of those uh, divine connection stories. After I met in 2009. Uh, uh, God blessed them with a firstborn baby, boy, Nehemiah, Jackton, eh, capital, <laughs> underline, Burasa. And so anyway, he is very special and his family is really special uh, to me. I've been able to visit them in a beautiful place in Missoula, Montana. I had a great time with them. And he is uh, the head of creative media at his church, local church in, uh, in Montana. It's called uh, Sovereign Hope Church. And he's also an elder and a pastor there. And I'd like to know, Daniel, how, how did you get into the, uh, the media stuff? And, uh, was this something you always wanted to do when you were young? Or? No, you know, I, um, I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do when I was, when I was young. And um, I just had some interest in video, uh, made a few videos with my, my siblings, my sisters. But then I started going to the church that I'm at right now, started just attending back in 2005. Yeah. Um, and I started volunteering in the video yeah. area. And so I uh, mostly was just self-taught, just learning as I went, making lots and lots of mistakes, doing lots and lots of things wrong. Yeah. Um, but by God's grace, just uh, grew in understanding and over time uh, through different you know, YouTube videos and other things like that, was able yeah. to learn enough to where, uh, uh -huh. where I'm at, where I'm at now. Okay. 
what are some of the projects that you've been able to engage in that for you have been, you know, like uh, highlights in your mm -hmm. life? There was a, uh, a welcome video that we created uh -huh. um, that we just, the entire script was really just the story of the gospel and then connecting it to um, our church in Missoula and what uh -huh. we're doing there. Yeah. And so just the, the content of that and yeah. then just the collection of footage over uh, actually, we took footage over the course of several years yeah. and compiled it, and um, so that was a, a, a great blessing to work on that project. And then another one was a video series we did called Captive Thoughts. Uh -huh. Good stuff. So at Talk with J.O., we try to help you understand a field that you maybe are interested in or you like or you don't even like, but you just uh, would like to know what goes on in that industry, you know. And so today, uh, Daniel is a creative. He's in the creative media stuff, uh, as much as he's a, he's a person, an elder at his church. And for someone who doesn't understand what goes on through the video process, what just briefly uh, enlighten someone on what the key things that are important in, uh, in doing a video project. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I think the first most important thing is the story. In Christ, we have the greatest story that's ever been told. Yeah. And so for me. I delight in making videos that glorify God, that talk about um, how glorious God is, yeah. how good He is. And so, because I have that message, that makes all the work worth it uh -huh. to, to get to that end product. If yeah. you don't have the message, then yeah. we're just you playing no with toys. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, yeah. But then, from, the, from having the message, having the script, something that is um, uh, biblical and gospel-centered, then from there we move to... Um, creating shot lists of what is it that we want to see? How do we want to visually, what's the visual narrative that yeah. accompanies the, the audible narrative? Uh -huh. um, and so uh, figuring out, that's the hardest part for me is the planning out exactly what do we want to see, where are we yeah. going to go, how are we going to arrange for all these things, so lots of planning. Yeah. And then finally when the production comes, uh -huh. the actual production phase, yep. uh, that's just a lot of fun when yeah. you just, you have your camera's rolling and you're able uh -huh. to get all the creative shots that you want and yeah. and then from there we move on to the post-production yep. and in that phase we're editing everything together again a lot of fun getting uh -huh. to actually see all the things come together that we've been planning for so long yep. and then finally there's the color grading uh -huh. and the audio so that's the the process from there you go into the marketing getting it on YouTube getting uh -huh. it on Facebook all yeah. those sorts of things but but the actual production of the video that's that's what some yeah about. so like in summary uh, we have like the three main areas uh, pre-production mm -hmm. uh, the production process and the post uh, production mm -hmm. that you're just talking about yeah. maybe there could be there could be someone who is interested in in getting into this field you know mm -hmm. I don't know what would be your message especially for guys who are still in in high school Mm -hmm. uh, or in compass and they really want to do this mm -hmm. they don't have the gear they don't have the equipment mm -hmm. and they're seeing all these huge cameras you know what Hollywood is using mm -hmm. uh, maybe they have checked out on YouTube where they're seeing some red camera here mm -hmm. Panasonic or Sony some amazing good stuff sure. and they don't have the gear but they have the passion of the wheel mm -hmm. what would you what would be your, your, your message to them the place to start I think is using whatever you have access to and I would just try to um, plan out videos and make videos using using what you have practicing and practicing and I would use the resources that are available for free. Um, there's lots of videos on YouTube. Uh, you are watching uh, Talk With J.O. You better use the hashtag Talk With J.O. and also engage with me on Instagram and Twitter at Jackton Graham, on Facebook at Jackton Otieno. And feel free you know, to send us an email. There are details uh, at the end of the show. You can be able to engage and if you want to come and participate feel free to hit me up you know and be able to engage and have you on the show